want us to look at this indicator by the name breaker blocks with signals that's algo and when you hear signals this simply means that the indicator is actually giving you the buy and sell signals so without further ado i would love to go into depth about this indicator so that we can really understand it and so we're just going to see whether it can be reliable because for sure for sure for an indicator to be favorable to traders number one it must work on real time number two it should not repaint and number three it should be reliable that's what will make us profitable and that's why i've decided to look at this indicator because we really need to see whether it can be good for us okay so this indicator you can see on my chart right here it's a breaker block with signals indicator it aims to highlight a complete methodology based on breaker blocks and the breakout signals between the price and breaker blocks are highlighted in premium or discount swing levels are included to provide potential to profit or stop losses levels so that's what you're really supposed to understand and then you're just going to look at the usage of these breaker blocks with signals by lax algo can you see an indicator based on past events and actually showing you what happened in the past and you can basically see the market followed its direction that does not really confirm to you that it is a good indicator you really need to test what you're seeing live on market and that will probably tell you that the indicator can be reliable or not okay so guys let's talk about the usage of this indicator so usage number one about this indicator you're supposed to know this breaker blocks with signal indicator aims to provide users with a minimalistic display alongside optimal signals to be aware of finding a trade setup and usage number two signals that can be used for potential entries are only during retest of the breaker blocks and the function number three potential traders could use this indicator to target the corresponding is the pd arrays detected which you're supposed to look for short positions and uh, as well we have a premium pd arrays where you're supposed to look for long position and basically this indicator as well shows you invalid signals when you see a signal that is actually having an x something like this that's tell you there are fake and fake signals it have closed above 50 percent of the level that you are looking for entries or rather the price is actually closing below the 50 percent of the level where you were supposed to look for entries and basically looking at this indicator you can probably see we have a premium dp over here we were being told we we're supposed to look for our buying orders and as well remember we have a discount pd where you're supposed to look for your selling order so based on what i can probably see over here the indicators was trying to show us the structures of the market so when you can look at this level over here it's telling you is a lower low and actually it's giving you a buy signal where you're supposed to look for your buying opportunity of which i really tend to agree simply because when the market is actually trending to the downside or rather when the market is actually rising we do look for our buying orders on higher low over here and looking for our selling orders on higher high and as well when the market is actually dropping we do look for our selling orders on lower high and our buying orders on lower low so when you get a buy signal on lower low that tells you that for sure you're supposed to look for your buying order so understanding the structure of a market where to take to sell order or rather where to take your buy order it will actually help you for sure also filter out false signal like for instance right here if this happened on live markets trust me i could have executed my buy order because i know on lower low we can look for buying order and as well when we found a premium dp array tells us we continue looking for our buying order you can basically see for sure the market was really proceeding to the upside but you must make sure when you see this premium dp arrays over here the price must close above if price happens to close below like for instance let's say all this candlestick pattern closed below that will actually signify a really push to the downside so make sure price is actually closing above your premium pd array when you're looking for your buying orders and as well make sure that the price is actually closing below when you see a discount pd array and you want to look for your selling order that's the trick you're supposed to really know so this indicator looks perfectly well guys when we are looking this on past events but is it working on real time you know this kind of questions you are really supposed to ask yourself what you can probably see over here i can see there was a premium pd array unfortunately we did not get any information when the 
market is actually proceeding to the upside so what you're supposed to really know about this lax algo indicator once the market moves that's when it's plotting all this and trust me this cannot really really help us and that's why we really need to test our indicators our strategies on live market because back testing let me tell you find the indicator working perfectly and let me tell you you can think these are holy grail but when it comes to live market you will see a whole different thing so it's good to really look for verification on what is happening on live market because something that is plotting all this when the market has already done its thing trust me this cannot be a reliable indicator lux algo really need to talk about this indicator because for sure we need an indicator that is really working on real time that is not really repainting and for me i need something that is working on real time for sure for sure and you can see probably looking on past events as well you can probably see for sure the market was actually following the direction of this indicator because we were on our lower low at this given point over here and i told you on lower low we look for a buying order and there was some structures broken over here and we got our buy order over here where there was a breaker block and the market really proceeded got a premium pd array as well closing above the level and the market really pushed to the upside and the markets at this given point for sure is actually also proceeding to the upside so what are you really supposed to know about this indicator for sure we need something that is really working on real time that was supposed to really keep in mind that's why i'm looking at it on different and different time frames okay when you look at this level over here still you were on a lower low and you got your buy order when there was a break block and the market really rose but what happened when you get a live market because when you look from this level over here up to this level over here we didn't get any signal at any given point so what you are actually doing only experienced traders can really benefit because you are able to really learn about structures and see structures being broken and you're able to execute trades or rather understanding momentum at the level saying that buyers are actually in control because there is a bullish candlestick patterns they are actually huge in sizes comparing them to bearish candlestick patterns and as well bullish candlestick pattern they are more than the selling candlestick pattern and that can really tell you that buyers are really in control of the market okay so for sure this is not really working on real time you know it's good to really talk the truth because we have have many beginners in this industry and if not really beginners we have traders that are not yet profitable they are in the learning process and sometimes they depend on this indicator but when I tell them it's not working on real time kindly know that it's not really working on real time because I really really love talking the truth it's actually good even to know how to understand about structures how to expect on lower low what to expect on high high what to expect on um, lower high because even when you're using the indicator you really need an extra knowledge that you have so that you can be able to execute trades okay so guys that's what i really wanted to put across i uh, regarding this indicator because it's actually having signals and i'm telling you like for sure let's put ourselves in beginner shoes let's say this happened on live market let's hope so and you executed your buy order over here and the market actually rose and you are a beginner you have no idea where even to close your positions and boom the market goes against you it came up to this level over here trust me right here just going to losses after being in profits because there was a movement that really pushed to the downside and when this movement was really pushing to the downside up to your entry point you didn't get any updates or rather you didn't get any information from the indicator and that's why when it got all the levels still unless you use your extra knowledge you know you can end up blowing your account okay so guys let me hope you've learned something from this video regarding the break blocks with signals by lax algo you know it's good to talk the truth and also to let you know what you're really supposed to know okay so guys continue working here because i really know one day one day your hard work will pay you remember to test all your indicators all your strategies online market and you're just going to learn a lot so guys what do i say bye bye see you in my next video success success and everything you do don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't and as well don't forget to like this video turn on your notification bell because a lot more is coming in this channel learning more about these indicators bye guys